Hey guys, it is Mark Coe for 30th of April. End of another month here. Wanted to take a look at a couple setups from today, Monday, 30th of April. First off, uh, S&Ps, the E-minis. Very nice setup here into a level. So I want to take a little background look here and understand where this level comes from. So the idea on this on Monday morning was that we went sell side bias, which means that the... Uh, the focus was to be sell side bias from 10 a.m. and I'll show you a little bit about the bias but essentially the level the level was put in place here days ago the level did not start this morning at 10 a.m. right the level we've had indication of this level and been using it as resistance so ultimately what I'm looking at is bottom edge from April 19th some rally into April 23rd right this is the area I'm focused on this 2680 to 83 that's what I'm focused on so the most recent activity in there um, was April 24th again the highs were 88 the acceleration lower started around 81 and three quarters that's what's creating my zone um, the the idea here is focusing on the edge which has held so I'm simply bringing that over alright so now I have good trade location I have no idea if this one's gonna hold if it's gonna give way but I do know that my bias indicator goes sell side early US morning about 10 a.m. and I'll show you what this looks like so this is just a this is a two-hour chart so this is just giving you a little background uh, most of the month of April is covered in here now I'll show you what it looks like in a shorter term and how this is actually uh, pretty impressive stuff in, in, in order to be able to deal against. So walking into the morning, I'm using um, I'm using this resistance above 2680. That that becomes my focus. I'm using the resistance above 2680. So I know where I'm focused, and I just want to bring up the uh, U.S. Open sheet. Um, I know I'm looking up to 88, right? I know that's the resistance. I know up to 88. That was the level created. But on an intraday basis, it starts printing resistance in and around 82 to 83, which was just the bottom of it. The, the key here was the timing aspect I was using starts to go sell side at 10 a.m. So now you'll see 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is right here, this big, nice green candle. And all that does it trades right into the top edge of the intraday zone allowing for short side so my Twitter says 10 a.m. sell side focus up to 26 I think it was set at 83 um, 26 83 so it gave a real nice zone well again rotation throughout the day this becomes a 35 point move in the S&P that had basically a handful of points of risk against it that 35 points per contract, as we talk about, um, it's a $1,750. That's actually it's a little, little closer to $1,800 move. So the idea becomes to p continue to position yourself to be able to achieve, you know, the bulk of it. I'm not, I'm not implying you're trading top tick to bottom tick. That's not what the goal is. The goal becomes can you deal in good zones to deal against this stuff. Now I'll show you another trade in crude oil. Um, crude oil was another really good one today. So you have S&P so far, seventeen hundred dollar move, right per contract. So that's thirty five points. Here's the S&P. I'm sorry. Here's crude oil. Now I'll show you again where this comes from, because it didn't start today. The level did not start getting printed today. Everything we're dealing off of in this room is well well documented in front of it happening. So here's the here's the point in crude oil. Crude oil, the level we've been working off of, is again the breakout from April 18th, the tap back into April 23rd, again revisited last April 25th. So these are not levels that I'm pulling out of thin air. It's, it's a level the market has tested and used. So that's what I'm diagnosing. That's what I'm using, right? Support. That's what it is. But it's also the level that the market has acted, initiated from. Now here is the tap back in this morning. This was a beautiful move. I just wanted to give you a little kind of wider look as I focus in now to the 15-minute uh, look, 10-minute look, something tighter. Just want to show you what it looked like in real time. Okay, so here's U.S. session. Already knowing we're leaning against this. Already knowing we're leaning against this area. Here's what it looks like for the day trader, for the scalper, somebody that says, I really want tight risk. Here's what it looks like. 
So you're taking the bigger picture level, right? In this case, just simply a four hour. Uh, four hour gave you a real nice zone to deal against above 67. Here's a, again a fast chart, 10 minute, 15 minute, it's establishing support. The market tests it, reacts from it, tests it again. This is a two dollar move. That's two thousand dollars per contract, right? I was using 67. Um, 67, I think I was using 6710. I'll look real quick at my US Open report. Yeah, so here's my US Open report right here. Using 6710 as the support in that area, we traded to a low of 17, right? Seven ticks away. So the support I'm using is right here, right? That's what I'm using as support. So the idea is being able to lean against it. That's the level I'm leaning against. It starts bottoming, bottoming. That's a $2, $2.17 cent move, right? One contract, that's over $2,000 on a Monday. So what you have to start to ask yourself is are you able to find these levels? Are you able to find these levels with consistency? And that's really what it's about. It's not saying every level follows through. I could show you plenty that don't. The difference is on the ones that don't, your losses are very well contained. The ones they do, you see them running. So anyway, for Monday, 30th of April, hope you guys had a great day. Hope to keep up the good work, find some more levels, and keep at it. Cheers, guys.